Welcome in to Bank OZK Arena. It is the 5A Girls State Championship game, Bologna and Greenwood. Hello, everybody. I'm Wes Moore, joined by Justin Acri. This is going to be a great game, and then we got three more great ones after this. There's no doubt about it. We got a rematch from last year, Wes, in this finals game, and we're looking forward to the rest of these today. 5A and 6A action all through the day today. Let's take a look through that schedule with this one tipping things off. Then we've got Benton and Pine Bluff, a couple of conference foes going at it for all the marbles and the 5A boys at 145. And then in the evening session, how about the Little Rock Central double? First time the girls have ever been to the final, taking on their foes from the Central in Conway. And then Central and Bryant, a couple other teams that know each other very well, Wes. Whole lot of Division I talent on the floor in that one. It should be an absolutely great game. Then tomorrow in the 1A and 2A going, Mammoth Springs, Norfolk, Nevada against Mark Tree, Mount Vernon and Nola, and Mansfield in the late session in East Points of County against Marshall. And I ran into Marshall's coach this morning, and he's excited. He feels like uh, they got to do a few things to key the victory, but he's feeling excited about it. That's one of the great things about staying down here. I ran into Pine Bluffs coach this morning. I've already spoken with both of these head coaches this morning. This is going to be a great game. Yeah. We'll tell you more about this game when we come back. We're just getting started. This is a rematch. This was a fun game last year for Greenwood. Not so much for Bologna. Greenwood ran away with it. Final score, 58-35. Hit a couple of threes. Bologna's got to change that today. Yeah, Anna Trusty was phenomenal last year. 17 points. Sexton with 13. Woolsey with 12. They're all back, but their MVP, Maddie Cartwright, has gone on to Tulsa. And Bologna, again, got revenge this year in a game in November against Greenwood. But it doesn't mean much comparatively to the state title game. So they're going to try to get the revenge where it counts here at Bank OZK Arena in the state final. We'll talk more about their first meeting this season and the matchup today. Stick around. We're just getting started. This is the Centennial Bank State Basketball Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports. ZK Arena. It is the 5A Girls State Championship game, Bologna and Greenwood. Hello, everybody. I'm Wes Moore, joined by Justin Acri. This is going to be a great game, and then we got three more great ones after this. There's no doubt about it. We got a rematch from last year, Wes, in this finals game, and we're looking forward to the rest of these today. 5A and 6A action all through the day today. Let's take a look through the
broadcast of this championship game is made possible by the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Over 2,500 team members across 17 local electric distribution co-ops powering homes, farms, and industries somewhere across Arkansas. We are the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Power and people. When you choose Conway Regional, you're choosing a healthcare partner rooted in your community. With nine primary care locations in five counties, we believe in building lasting relationships centered on trust and personalized care. Let our family care for yours. Vaping addicts you to nicotine and can prematurely aid your lungs to those of a 70 year old. Don't get lost in the fog. Learn more about the hazards of vaping at projectpreventar.org. Southern Loft is a proud sponsor of Arkansas PBS. It is our mission to tell your story by adding color with our furniture. And that's why Southern Loft is a different kind of furniture store. For more information, go to mysouthernloft.com. To be courageous is to dance with the storm of adversity. The fact that I have UAMS Health by my side, it's just a blessing. And without UAMS Health, I wouldn't be the player that I am today. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Let me see it, let me see it. Bounce, 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 bounce. ZK Arena. It is the 5A Girls State Championship game, Bologna and Greenwood. Hello, everybody. I'm Wes Moore, joined by Justin Acre. This is going to be a great game, and then we got three more great ones after this. There's no doubt about it. We got a rematch from last year, Wes, in this finals game, and we're looking forward to the rest of these today. 5A and 6A action all through the day today. Let's take a look through that schedule with this one tipping things off. Then we've got Benton and Pine Bluff, a couple of conference foes going at it for all the marbles and the 5A boys at 145. And then in the evening session, how about the Little Rock Central double? First time the girls have ever been at the final, taking on their foes from the Central in Conway. And then Central and Bryant, a couple other teams that know each other very well, Wes. Whole lot of Division I talent on the floor in that one. It should be an absolutely great game. Then tomorrow in the 1A and 2A going, Mammoth Springs, Norfolk, Nevada against Mark Tree, Mount Vernon and Nola, and Mansfield in the late session in East Points of County against Marshall. And I ran into Marshall's coach this morning, and he's excited. He feels like uh, they got to do a few things to key the victory, but he's feeling excited about it. That's one of the great things about staying down here. I ran into Pine Bluffs coach this morning. I've already spoken with both of these head coaches this morning. This is going to be a great game. Yeah. We'll tell you more about this game when we come back. We're just getting started. This is a rematch. This was a fun game last year for Greenwood. Not so much for Bologna. Greenwood ran away with the final score, 58-35. Hit a couple of threes. Bologna's got to change that today. Yeah, Anna Trusty was phenomenal last year. 17 points, Sexton with 13, Woolsey with 12. They're all back, but their MVP, Maddie Cartwright's gone on to Tulsa. And Bologna, again, got revenge this year in a game in November against Greenwood, but it doesn't mean much comparatively to the state title game. So they're going to try to get the revenge where it counts here at Bank OZK Arena in the state final. We'll talk more about their first meeting this season and the matchup today. Stick around. We're just getting started. This is the Centennial Bank State Basketball Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports. Do you want to come to Antiques Roadshow in Bentonville, Arkansas? Yeah! You made my day! Holy moly! Scan code or visit pbs.org slash roadshow2024 to enter for tickets and see complete rules. Deadline is March 18th, 2024 at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time. Winners selected at random must be 18 to apply. Good luck! For every moment, for every memory, from that first car, to your first home, to your first child, and all the highs and lows that tomorrow might bring. For everything that matters most to you and your family, there's someone right around the corner dedicated to helping you protect what you love. Your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent. Farm Bureau Insurance. Real service. Real people. It's now a session. Welcome 
back to Bank OZK Arena. It is the girls 5A state championship game. Bologna in Greenwood. I'm Wes Moore joined by Justin Acri. A rematch of the 2023 state finals. A rematch of a game earlier this year. These two teams know a lot about each other. In fact, both head coaches told me we really didn't even need a practice for them. We know them so well. They know us so well. We could have played on Monday. Here's how Bologna got here, and it was a uh, tough road, Justin. Yeah, Lady Eagles, the visitors here, 57-46 over Nettleton. Then a 58-50 win over Mountain Home. And then Green County Tech, ultimately the winner, 72-58 for the Lady Eagles over Green County Tech. Heston with 21 in that one, Wes. And for the Greenwood Lady Bulldogs, we'll talk about in just a moment. But for Bologna, certainly a, a lot of uh, players with great experience here, but you mentioned some one, youngsters too. But Sydney Mil Middleton, that's the one I, I'm going to keep my eye on. She averages 15 points a game, four rebounds. She has multiple college offers, including UCA. She's a 32% three-point shooter. She can fill it up. She's also a good defender. She leads the team in charges taken. Gotta like that scrappy. No doubt. Let's take a look at Greenwood and how they got to the state championship game. Yeah, for Greenwood, the first win in state, a 85-24 domination over Sherwood. Don't typically, or Sheridan rather, excuse me, you don't normally see uh, victories with that kind of margin. And a 61-47 winner over Searcy, and then a little better test against Lake Hamilton, 64-57 in that one. And their leader, Anna Trusty Wes, with 18 points in the game, and she is their leading scorer on the season at 19 points a game. Also, leading rebounder at over six a game. Trusty has championship game experience. This is her third championship game. Last year, she had 17 points, five steals, four rebounds. In 2022, as a sophomore, she had 24 points, five steals, and five rebounds. Yeah. The moment won't be too big for her. Well, and again, I like talking about these offensive players who also do it on the other end of the court, and Trusty's a great example. Three and a half steals a game, Wes, so she is no treat to go against when you're on offense either. I spoke with both head coaches before the game, and we're when I uh, mentioned this game to Coach Simon, I said, well, what do you got to do to win this game? And he said, right away, take care of the ball. He said, Greenwood's pressure, Greenwood, the way they get after you, we have to take care of the basketball today. We can't afford to have Greenwood go on to any of these long runs, these extended runs, these droughts of us can kill us in this game. And he said, I got four timeouts. I'll use them. If, if I need to take a timeout in the first quarter to stop a, uh, a quick run from Greenwood, I'm going to take it. I'm going to use the media timeouts. I'm not going to let them go on a long run for. All right, starting five with being announced here. We're about to tip things off here, and let's go to the uh, Greenwood Lady Bulldogs, defending champs two times over. We mentioned Trusty already, the six-foot senior, Brooklyn Woolsey. 5'8 senior, again, big contributor in last year's championship game. Izzy Smith, 5'5 junior. Carly Sexton, a 5'6 senior. And Kyla Piercy, a 5'8 sophomore. And West for Valonia, again, a lot of great experience here. You mentioned Middleton, a 5'9 junior. Brooklyn Burnham is a freshman, 5'8. Seven and a half points a game for her and four rebounds. Maddie M Mannion, who can stroke it from outside, 43% from three this year, nearly 90% at the free throw line. She's a 5'11 sophomore. Lexi Heston, number 30, 5'8 senior, nearly nine points a game for her. And Brianna Burnham, another freshman in the starting lineup. So a really good mix of young and older seasoned vets for the visitors from Volonia today. Yeah, we're going to see... Brianna's twin sister, Brooklyn. She'll come into the game and yep. play a lot today. Those twins, freshmen, can really go. And they, the future's bright at Bologna. They've got a young class that will be back next year, and they feel like they're set for the next couple of years. Talking with Clay Reeves, he said, you know what, guys? This is going to be a fun game. You're going to enjoy watching this game. We're going to do that, and it's underway. Greenwood wins the tip. And they're ready to go on offense. Bologna playing man-to-man. -man. Hands are active. Playing tight defense. Greenwood's going to get the first shot of the game. It's a three-pointer, and it is knocked down by Brooklyn Woolsey. Woolsey comes into the game averaging 13 points. She gets loose and knocks down the first shot. Now, Woolsey can certainly score it. Bologna almost turns it over, but they get the ball inside, and the foul pushing the back. Bologna will go to the free, low, free throw line. Maddie Mannion with it. Just a heads-up play to get the loose ball, look inside, and they find Mannion, and Mannion shoved in the back. You saw on the replay there, she never even got her eyes up to the rim as she shot that ball. 
They're going to say it was on the floor prior to the shot attempt. So a break there, I think, for Greenwood. No doubt about it. Polonia gets the ball in. Middleton works it into the corner. Outside. See the active hands by Greenwood. I tell you what, they've already gotten their hands on two balls early in this game, making life difficult for Bologna. Lady Eagles get it in up top. It's Bernal, the freshman. Trying to get out of the double team. Heston into the corner. Eagles take a three. A little short. Rebound Greenwood. Greenwood looking to push. Trusty swooping in there and, and does a little bit of everything. They're leading rebound at over six a game. Not just a score. Piercy drives, kicks. Back out top. Looking to attack. Smith loses it. A good block there by Middleton. Heston baseline jumper. In and out. Rebound to Bologna and a foul. Basket won't foul, won't count, but they'll go to the free throw line for two. We're a minute 15 in here, Wes, and we have a couple of fouls already called against Greenwood. They got in some real foul trouble against Lake Hamilton. Woolsey, Piercy, and Smith all in serious foul trouble. I believe they all had four in the third period. They were able to survive and help their team advance, but something to keep an eye on. That's been an issue for the Lady Bulldogs. Both head coaches felt like they had some depth. They weren't worried about pace of play. They weren't worried, but they don't want any of their stars, one of their key store, scorers to get into foul trouble. Second free throw is off for Middleton. Little pressure from the Eagles. Little man to man. Deep three for Greenwood off the front of the rim. Rebound in the hands of Middleton, but she loses it for a second and falls. Burnham, though, it's called for a travel. Got moving a little too quick. That's what Greenwood does to you. It's Jeremy Simon, head coach for Valonia's fourth year with the Lady Eagles. Clay, Clay Lurie's over 800 wins as the head coach for Greenwood. 813 to be exact in his 21st season. He's got 10 rings. Seven rings at Greenwood. Looking for his eight. Shot up with Greenwood <laughs> off the backboard, and it is good. Give it to Izzy Smith. Starts putting him on toes after that, I guess. Deep pass down. Good open look. Lexi Haston on the board for Bologna. Greenwood loses control. Gets it back in. Rare breakdown defensively for the Lady Bulldogs there. What a nice fake and a move to the basket for Woolsey. This is the pace we expected to see. Fortunate bounce for Bologna. Missed the free throw. Good block out for Greenwood. Here they come to the other end. Snowbird layup. Good. Trusty. You've seen the length of Greenwood giving Bologna a little bit of, of a problem. Hands up. That's a foul call. That was a good drive into the middle. Kick it out. They were going to have an open look for Burnham for three. Foul called on the floor. Third team foul for Greenwood. And they got Piercy on that one. And, uh, yeah, I, I like what Bologna's doing. They're attacking and trying to play quickly before the Greenwood defense can get set up. And there's that length again. Mannion's pass is stolen. Bulldogs don't have numbers, so they pull it out, but attack quickly. Trusty out to the front, fake the three. Now they'll take the three, and it's partially blocked. That was Manny getting in there to swat it away. Defense has been solid. Another hand on the ball. Trusty on the floor with it, gets it to her teammate, off to the races. Layup is good from Piercy. Timeout. Bologna, there you go. He said he was going to use his timeouts. He uses it quickly. Yeah, they've got to take better care of the basketball. Just cannot be careless on these possessions. And you're seeing it. But you're right, the length and issue. Great job by Trusty. Not only making the initial deflection, but going to the floor to feed Piercy for the layup. When I was looking at Trusty's stats from the previous two state championship games, five steals in each game. That jumped off the page. Not her points, not her rebounds, but five steals in each championship game. She's the all-time leading scorer, and again, that's what will likely be remembered for folks who look back through the history books at Greenwood. Over 1,900 points in her career, but the defense incredible. 3.6 steals a game this season. She's been phenomenal on both ends, and at six feet and her long arms, she's causing all kinds of problems, but is going to have to clean things up in that regard. I like what they've done trying to force the tempo a little bit and get the ball down quickly before Greenwood gets set up. But in the process, sometimes you speed yourself up and cause yourself problems. Look at Trusty at the top of that press. The six foot tall. She's quick, active, almost got another one right there. Just hard to pass the ball right now. Open three. 
Bologna knocks it down. That was a huge shot. Sidney Middleton responds. Five point game. Starting to settle in here at this 5 8 championship game. Greenwood dribbles in, will 15 footer, no good. Battle for the rebound goes out of bounds. It'll be Greenwood's basketball. Sexton took that shot, dribbled in. Good look at it, just off the back of the rim. Looked like Greenwood had position right there to get that rebound. Fake it to Trusty. Now she gets it. Drives and kicks. Bologna active. Gets a hand on the ball. That's where it needs to start for them, too. You know, they got to take care of the ball offensively, but defensively. Get some pressure. Get some stops. They play good defense. That's what Coach said. These are two good defensive teams. Everybody talks about their scoring. We can steal the ball, too. Yeah, neither team's really settled in just yet. But obviously Greenwood getting the better of the early going here. But I think the defensive intensity very solid on both sides. Drive and kick. You're seeing that a lot from Greenwood. That's what they like to do. Drive to the paint, kick it out. Survey into four, five on the shot clock. Got to get something up. Another drive, kick, baseline three at the buzzer. No good. And rebound comes to Bologna. Lady Eagles looking to run. Burnham with it. Brooklyn Burnham into the game. The twin. Passes. What a spin move off the glass, and it's good. Middleton back on the board again. Quickly down the court. Good hustle play from Burnham. Knocks it out of bounds. That's Heston, actually. Heston's hustle prevents the layup for Greenwood, and that's our media timeout. Bologna res responds with five straight points. It's 11 to 8. Greenwood with the lead. You're watching the Centennial Bank State Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first. By empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charity, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank. Member FDIC. When you choose Conway Regional, you're choosing a healthcare partner rooted in your community. With nine primary care locations in five counties, we believe in building lasting relationships centered on trust and personalized care. Let our family care for yours. Support for Arkansas PBS Sports comes from Wendy's, who invites you to try their new breakfast burrito to get your morning rolling available at participating U.S. Wendy's. Greenwood leads 11 to 8 over Bologna. It's the 5A Girls State Championship game. I'm Wes Moore, joined by Justin Acre. Greenwood will get the ball inbounding underneath their basket, looking to increase their lead and stop this little run from Bologna. Fake the three. Move the ball around. We'll take a little 17 footer, and that was good. That was pure. Nice shot from Piercy. Piercy back on the board again. Bologna breaks the press, comes across, open three, pass it up for a better three. Shot from the corner. Good. Back to back threes now for Bologna. They're starting to heat things up. That's Brianna Burnham. Quickly down the court. Greenwood drives and kicks. Open three. Oh, wow. <laughs> rolls in. How about this? <laughs> Back to back to back, and I just, it's, it's running through my mind thinking about being a freshman in high school and being on this stage and having to make shots, you know, in a, in a big stage is really impressive by Burnham a moment ago, and then you get an air ball on the other end by Middleton. But they catch Bologna a break. A break. Yeah, no doubt. They catch a break. The ball got loose, and the girl in the inbounds caught it, but she was stepping out of bounds. We got our first substitution of the day. Kim Henry comes in for Bologna. Another youngster. 5'10 yeah. freshman. Henry averaging five points a game and nearly four rebounds. Burnham's going to throw the ball in underneath the basket. Tell you what, I was impressed with Middleton handling the ball right in front of us. It looked like she was going to get cut off, just barely avoids stepping out of bounds, drives in, got a good look, just a little bit short on the shot. She gets it back, drive it into Burnham. Burnham looking for a little help. Yeah, Greenwood does such a good job extending that zone. And again, active hands inside, out on the perimeter. It's just 
so tough to operate offensively against that defense. Middleton caught it in the high post. She was looking at the low post to Henry. I bet it's a play they've run 100 times and been successful 99 times. But the length of Greenwood changes it with the deflection. There's a kick. <laughs> Trusty's like, use my hands. Let me get my feet involved here. When you're that long and active, you get your hands and your feet on a lot of basketballs. I think they're going to look for Henry down low. And they had her open, and that kickball prevented a layup right there. Greenwood still in that zone. Middleton drives in and gets it to Henry. Cross court. Got to get a shot up, and they didn't. I think they lost track of the shot clock. You can hear some of the fans, hopefully at home, behind us yelling, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. They saw the shot clock, but Colonial Lady Eagles didn't see it. Had good crowds so far here in the second day, Wes. No exception. Piercy all the way to the basket, finds a way to get her shot off. She scores again. Piercy up to six points. Middleton looking deep down the court into the corner. They'll pull it back out. And Trusty almost got her hands on another ball. Good drive, basket, no good, but Middleton will go to the free throw line. Two subs about to check in for Bologna, but two free throws we've got coming up for Middleton. Nearly 80% at the free throw line this season. Looking back on the scoop there for Piercy. Good move along the baseline to get it up and under for the score moments ago. Middleton's first free throw off the back of the rim. Hesson into the game. Works into the game for the first time. Piercy leading the way for Greenwood so far. Six points with Woolsey and Smith chipping in with five apiece. Second one falls. Cuts the lead to six. Getting towards the end of the first quarter. Almost got a steal, but Trusty with the three. Good. That is so pure. Anna Trusty delivering in a state championship a game again. No hesitation there. Avoids the steal, steps up and drills it. Going to get a foul on Trusty this time, though. That'll be the fifth team foul for Greenwood. They'll go to the free throw line. Look up, Bologna hasn't committed the foul yet. Piercy with two. It's the only foul trouble to speak of so far. There has not been a single whistle against Bologna yet. Good look at the replay. You give Trusty an inch, she's going to take that shot. I'm guessing Clay Reeves will have that discussion with the officiating crew at some point. Officials today for this 5A girls championship game, Scott Gifford, Jake Black, and David Durham. Good guys. Came over and talked to us before the game about the possibility of taking a look at the replay if it's at the end of the game that decides the game, a last second shot. Yeah, we saw a game in New Jersey in a state title game where they didn't have that luxury, Wes, and they got the call wrong, as you can tell on replay. Don't want to see that happen. Glad they have that technology. Don't want to decide a state championship game that way. Greenwood knocks down another three. Woolsey with it. Woolsey back on the board again. She's got five. Largest lead so far for Greenwood. It's opened up to an 11-point margin. Greenwood's five of their last five. That'll increase the lead. That shot off. Got first foul of the game on Bologna. Little, little reach-in foul right there. Greenwood will have 55 seconds. Plenty of time. Going to give Middleton a little break here. Give her 55 seconds of rest. Trusty fakes the three, drives to the basket, baseline floater off the rim. Good rebound by Henry. Burnham looking around, cross court. Heston gives it up, and a steal. Trusty has it. Shot clock is off. They can take the last shot if they want to, or they can take a corner three. Good. Forget it. Wait for nothing. Open shot. Take the shot. Bologna now. 12 seconds. Last shot. Drive in. Burnham. Burnham with eight. Burnham finds an open teammate underneath. Good pass. Henry makes it. Three seconds. See if Greenwood can get a shot off at the buzzer. Half court. Eve. No good. Greenwood leads at 27-15. What a first quarter for the Lady Bulldogs.
This is the 5A state championship game. Brought to you by Centennial Bank State, Centennial Bank on Arkansas PBS Sports. Southern Loft is a proud sponsor of Arkansas PBS. It is our mission to tell your story by adding color with our furniture. And that's why Southern Loft is a different kind of furniture store. For more information, go to mysouthernloft.com. Looks like we have some new help in the marketing department. Action! Hi, I'm Susie. I roll with Everett Buick DMC. I think you need to work on your line better. How about you do it? Family owned, customer friendly. Family owned, no friendly. Come see, see us at Everett, Everett Buick DMC. I 30 at Alcoa Exit. Is now a session. Okay, Arena Conway Regional Health System is proud to support, spotlight, and celebrate Arkansas student athletes and Arkansas PBS Sports. Since 1921, Conway Regional Health System has provided complete health care services to the growing communities in North Central Arkansas. For more information, visit conwayregional.org. How good of a first quarter was it for Greenwood? They were 11 of 14 from the field. They only missed three shots. 11 of 14. What a shooting percentage. 78.6%, by the way. That'll be tough to beat, especially as good as Greenwood has defended. Now, Deloney's got to step up the defensive pressure. Drive into the middle, kick out. Open three, but pass it up into the middle. Middleton gets it back. She drives in a little 15 footer off. Hands in her face. Made it tough to get that shot off. Greenwood quickly down the court. Baseline drive reverse is good. Piercy again, the sophomore up to eight points. 12 of 15 now. What? High percentage shots. Five for five from the three point line, though. That's a pretty good That's percentage, That's a high percentage right? shot, too, I think, for them For right them, now. it's a great <laughs> shot. Thelonia <laughs> banks it in. They need something like that. Heston with the shot. She called it. I heard her from here. 29-18, 11-point game. They needed that three. Kick it out. Three-pointer for Greenwood. First miss of the game from them from the outside. Ball out of bounds off Thelonia's foot. Greenwood keeps possession. Jinxed them. Here's a look at Bologna's three off the glass. Greenwood back with it. Here in Bank look. OZK Arena, makes sense. Look at another three. They're not afraid to shoot it, obviously. Little baseline drive, hesitation move to the basket. What a finish. Yeah, Izzy Smith put the defender on a string. Izzy making them dizzy. Baloney drives in baseline, looks to the middle, but there's Anna Trusty with another steal. She defends out of the perimeter. She sinks down to the middle of the paint. Just a phenomenal defender. Great anticipation. Speaking of Bologna, with the same, Brianna Burnham with a steal. And she's taking it coast to coast. That pulls it out. Looks for Middleton. Cutting, but she wasn't there. Didn't like the look. Another hand on the ball. You're going to have to do a little more, maybe ball fakes, pass, you know, pass fakes. I mean, Greenwood is overplaying every passing lane. And they are so comfortable going after you got to make them pay maybe some backdoor cuts off of the overplays But there's so much on the back and again everybody's covering for everyone. It's just great help defense as well yeah. Good look inside but once again got a hand on the ball tipped it away and Greenwood comes away with it Quickly down the court trusty had it she gives it up Woolsey wanted it a little earlier. She kind of gave that look like, give it to me quicker. She had her mind made up. She had an open three and wanted it, but they got it to her too late. Good drive. I was going to say that was a good little deflection, but it was too good. And a foul there. Just the second foul on Bologna in this game. First one of the quarter. Burnham's first foul of the game. And Bologna, I mean, 55% for the floor is not bad. But the turnover is a huge issue. Six already in the game, and the points off 9 0. I mean, you're talking about a huge portion of the margin created by the turnovers from Greenwood. 
I think defense was an emphasis during that first quarter timeout. All of a sudden, you can see Valonia's hands being a lot more active. That three is off the mark. Valonia with the rebound. Here comes Middleton. Middleton gets to the middle of the floor. Surveys, deep three. Off the back of the rim. Valonia trying to chase it down. They get there. The Eagles double teamed right here in front of us. Middleton gets it back. Cross court, another three. Can't get it to go. Middleton with the rebound, puts it up. She's fouled. She'll go to the line. They're working the ball around really well in offense, getting some open looks. When they avoid turning it over, they're getting good shots. Middleton on the day, three for six at the free throw line. Again, not helping herself out there either. And she is an excellent free throw shooter, as we mentioned, at 79% on the season. Now she's back on track, four of seven. Look at the turnover column. Bologna now with six. Greenwood just one turnover. The big story of the game. That and Greenwood shooting lights out. Two free throws cuts it to 11 point game. Bologna needing a run like Greenwood had in the first quarter. A little double team right there and a steal. Almost a steal. Trusty gets it back. They're playing a little box on one right now, I just noticed. To the basket, and that's good. Woolsey with it. They manned up. Trusty, the other four were playing a little zone. Good speed, nice pass inside. Left-handed shot. No good. Rolls off the rim. Baloney there for the rebound. That shot's no good. They got a foul. Mannion inside. Missed the shot, and then when she was going for the second rebound, I think they got her for over the back. We got another timeout. Coach is going to call a timeout and use his timeouts effectively, try to slow down this Greenwood offense. And we've got still about 26 seconds before the media, but yeah, the 74 for Greenwood, just a blistering pace so far. And Again, Bologna's numbers starting to drop at 43%. And again, starting it with defense, Wes, the turnover's deadly. And a nice hustle there by Trusty, getting it to Piercy for the score. And she's going right back in on that scoop we saw earlier and just getting what they want. And there she is again. She has been red hot today. And that's good news for Greenwood, bad news for Bologna. And the worst news is she's not even a leading scorer. Woolsey is with 13. She has been... Hot as a firecracker. And you mentioned the team has missed a couple of threes now. She has it. She's three for three, five of six on the floor overall. And she's a big part of that 74% start for the Greenwood Lady Bulldogs. Yeah, Trusty was their leading scorer. That was our player to watch. She only has five points, yet they're up 13. So that just shows you how deep Greenwood is when you got a, a, a Piercy, a sophomore, eight points, four for five from the field. Woolsey, 13 points, five of six from the field. It's not a one-woman one, one woman show here. It is a, a complete team. But both these coaches knew it. They said, it's going to be the other players. We're going to try to take out their best player. They're going to try to take out our best player. It's how the other players respond. And so far, Greenwood's other players are responding. Right. Well, Amanda is a, a player that I look to. She is a great three-point shooter, Wes. 0 for 3 so far, over 40% on the season. And she has made a bunch this year. And they get the miss they need. Now we'll see if Bologna can turn into points. Burn them. It's cut off. Kickball. <laughs> but man, you're going back to the, the semifinal game against Creek, Creek County Tech. They made six threes in the game. She had four of them. So they really need to get her going. And like I said, she's over three right now. She needs to be that other piece to help support Middleton in the scoring department. Mannion will get the ball inbound. See if they don't run a play for her to get it right back. First, she's got to get it in. She does. Baseline runs it in and gets Middleton on the board again. Nice cut by Middleton along the baseline. And quickly the other way, Greenwood rushing. A good recovery there by Bologna defensively. Thought Woolsey was going to take it in, but she brings it out. A little head fake, drive to the basket, nothing there. They get it to Trusty from about eight feet. She easily puts it in. That's where that size comes in. When you're Boy. six foot tall, she knows no one's going to block that shot. Well, she makes it look very easy. And seven now for her in the game. Three out of four from the floor. There's a deep three from Mannion. No good. Eagles with the rebound. They put it back in. Heston with two. Here comes Greenwood back again. You got to get back on defense. The sophomore up with it. Piercy is fouled. She'll go to the free throw line. And yeah, that's inexcusable in a game where you're struggling. You're behind. You definitely cannot give up easy baskets at the other end. The transition defense will have to improve for Valonia if they're going to get back into this. 
Greenwood will shoot some free throws when we come back. You are watching the Centennial Bank State Basketball Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports. It's the most exciting academic competition of the year, and it is live right here on Arkansas PBS. It's the Arkansas Governor's Academic Competition Quiz Bowl 2024 State Championship. Schools from all over the state square off right here in this studio to see who will come out on top. Don't miss a single question. Quiz Bowl 2024. Tune in or stream on the PBS app. Saturday, April 27th, starting at 9 a.m. Attention sports enthusiasts, get ready to be amazed by Summerwood Sports Complex, the new state-of-the-art facility in Bryant. Our facility offers up to four courts spread across two spacious gyms, conveniently located off Interstate 30 in Bryant. Whether you're a team seeking tournament glory or an individual looking to elevate your skills, Summerwood Sports has got you covered. Discover more about our cutting-edge facility and check availability at summerwoodsports.com. We on that next level. Kyla Piercy off to a good start here in the state championship game. She's going to the free throw line. A lot of hand on that ball right there. But they got the foul called. She'll get to go to the charity stripe for a couple. Greenwood tries to increase their lead. They're up 11, 35, 24. I'm Wes Moore joined by Justin Acri. It is the 5A girls state championship game. A rematch from last year when Greenwood won the state championship. This is a Bologna team, Wes. We talked about it. they've coughed it up too many times, seven so far, but they also forced 12 steals a game. They've only gotten one against Greenwood, so not only is Greenwood creating problems on the other end, but they are also taking great care of the basketball against a Lady Eagles team that typically turns you over on a regular basis. Both those free throws good, and Piercy, the sophomore, adding to her total. She is in double figures now with 10. Points off turnovers, you just mentioned it. It's nine to nothing. Greenwood shutting them out, taking care of the ball, but also getting some steals and some easy points. Back into their zone with Trusty at the top, creating all kinds of problems. Middleton with it. Middleton works it to Hessen across court. Open three. Good look. Mannion can't get it. You call for it. They got it. Got Mannion a wide open look. Still though in the backcourt. Burnham with it. Misses the layup. Got to have those. Yeah, that that's missed your, opportunity. That's there. your turnover. We just said they had zero points off turnovers. Got a turnover and an easy layup, and they failed to capitalize on it. And I was kind of hoping she would pass the man in under the basket there. Maybe she sees a two go through. You know how that works. Perhaps she could get going a little bit more from the outside. They're going to need her perimeter shooting at some point. Frosty making it look easy, but this one doesn't fall for her. So athletic, so big. She can do whatever she really wants to on the court. Heston with it, needs to give it up, looking for somebody, finally gets it over to Mannion. Middleton thought about a deep three, passes it inside, trying to work free for the shot, just all kinds of Greenwood bodies, nowhere for her to go there. It's gonna be a jump ball, and Greenwood will take it. Turnover for Bologna. You get the ball down low like this. Look at the body, one, two, three, four Greenwood players in the paint. Trusty yeah. was the only one not sinking down. Good job by Sexton collapsing in there. She created the turnover there, just knocking it away. And there's a foul as they bring it up the floor. That's the fourth on Bologna with 2.11 to go. The next foul against the Lady Eagles will be free throws for the Lady Bulldogs. So a little frustration there from Middleton after the foul. Just reaching in, trying to knock the ball away. Trying to make a play. Good cutoff, but an even better move for Piercy. Piercy all the way to the basket. Left hand and layup is good. Good handles for Piercy. Yeah, that was a big time play there. And not only, as you mentioned, avoid the contact, but get it the other way. Another turnover, and then one stolen right back. Middleton gives it up. Gets it inside to Henry. The shot's no good. That's two layups in a row they've missed. Now they'll go to the free throw line. When you're trailing like this, those layups just start sticking out like a sore thumb. You've got to convert on the easy shots when you're down 15. Well, it can get away from you quickly. I think we talked about it in pregame, Wes. I mean, this is a Greenwood team. It's like a snowball going downhill, and it will be a big, big problem for you. And we saw it last year. They win 58-35. Once things start rolling their way, it can really get out of hand quickly. And missing free throws has been an issue. There's another one missed for Bologna, so they are doing a pretty decent job of getting the line. You've got to make them when you get there. 
Greenwood went through a stretch in conference play, 10 games in a row. They averaged over 80 points. Then you saw what they did against Sheridan in the first round of the playoffs, scoring 80. Justin, they're on pace right now for an 80-point game. That offense has been clicking. They're shooting almost 70% from the floor. Yeah. Actually, they right are at 69.6. Great Six, display of offense. 63% from three, not too shabby either. Trusty working baseline, gives it up. Open three, splash. Oh my. Wow. All that attention on Trusty, and she finds the open player. Izzy Smith knocks down the three. Middleton drives, kick, open three, top, no good, off the left side. Good rebound for Lady Eagles. Henry up with it, little contact, no call, but gets it to Middleton, and she puts it in. That should have been a foul. Henry holding it. She was pushed off of her spot. Luckily for Verlonia, able to hold on to it. A turnover again going the other way. Burnham with the steal, the layup. She gets it this time. That's a points off turnovers. They needed that. Under a minute to play. Big, big push there. They needed it. Burnham needed that. See if they can get another turnover. Need a stop. 50 seconds left in the half. Henry gets blown by. Layup good. Thought I heard a whistle. No whistle. They play on. Duff with it. Her first points of the game. Last 37 seconds of the game. Baloney need a little help. Middleton gets it. Middleton goes to work. Underneath, good look. Teammate can't handle it. Should have just gone straight up with it. Mannion had it, and I don't know if it was the size of Greenwood. Here's a look at the steal from Burnham earlier. Once again, Justin, we have the shot clock off. Greenwood with the basketball. Will they settle for the last shot of the game? I think they'll take the or first the open, last open shot look. of the half. Yeah. So I'm at the end of the first quarter. They could have helped for one, decided to shoot with about 10 seconds left. And see if they do the same. They tried to find a corner shooter and throw it out of bounds into the Bologna bench instead. Coach Reeves was looking at him, telling him, spread it out. Spread. He wanted the last shot. And then he's mad at Probably mad at himself for telling them to spread it out and take the last shot. They turned it over. Well, they got that shot in the end of the first period from that right corner. They were looking that direction again and couldn't get the connection made. Mannion back in. 15 point margin for Greenwood. And it looks like the Lady Eagles will hold for the final shot of this period. Let's see if they can't get a good look. Look, nine seconds left. Get it inside. Good pass. Little right-handed hook shot, no good at the three-second mark. Greenwood with it, trusty, heave, no good, partially blocked. That's how we'll end the first half. Greenwood leads it, 44-29. Impressive first half for Greenwood. Stick around. We'll see if Bologna can make a comeback. You're watching the Centennial Bank State Basketball Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports. Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Over 2,500 team members across 17 local electric distribution co-ops, powering homes, farms, and industries somewhere across Arkansas. We are the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Power and people. Buddy Steve Sullivan here along with Christina Munoz. It's halftime at Bank OZK Arena in Hot Springs, but don't go anywhere because we've got a lot in store for you. Let's get right to it. If you're a sports fan in Arkansas, you probably spend time listening to sports radio. Whether it's a live broadcast for a big game or catching your favorite show on your commute, the radio airwaves in Arkansas are still ringing out with play-by-play -play action, news, and some very strong opinions. Let's take a look. Some people think that ah, it's an easy job. All you do is talk. Well, I challenge you to, to turn on, you know, a recorder and for four hours try to be compelling. Get out there, boys. Let's get it done. He was a character. This one's raised back, always raised back. Do you understand the power of the buzz? And he got cheated. Wah, wah, wah. And I ruined his game because I hit him with a, I hit him with a golf ball. <laughs> Well, the Buzz is a 100,000-watt station that covers about uh, every direction from Little Rock for about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on the day. And um, we're a sports talk uh, station. But we're more than sports. We're entertainment. I would say we are personality-driven radio. We started out, actually, back in the good old AM days. We were the first AM west of the Mississippi that actually went to a complete talk format. It's just been a growing thing. I think it's still evolving all these years later. 
Good afternoon. Welcome to Drive Time Sports here on the Buzz Radio Network. Social media, Twitter, Instagram, plenty of things to distract you. So terrestrial radio, even though now we can stream and do all those things now, it is a challenge. It is, so you, you better come up with something very compelling. It's really about does the listener like the people they hear? It's not always about the content, it's about the people. So likability is a really important thing. Help us out, please. Okay, ready? Two flaps and a two whip. Sweet! <laughs> we're so weird. So we're very, very much personality driven. That's the thing that we're focused on. Plus we're hyper, hyper local. So if it's something that's affecting the local community, specific content about what's happening in central Arkansas, what's happening with the Razorbacks or the Little Rock Trojans or the UCA Bears or what's going on at Arkansas State or maybe the high school scene in Arkansas, we're the only place you can get that. It's that time of year for basketball. You know, David, Justin Moore knows this better than anybody. This is the fun time when you're good enough, when you know you're going to have a shot to to make it to the state championship. You want movement, you want you want engagement. People become engaged, whether they love you or they hate you, they become engaged with what's happening. So, I mean, I have people that don't like us at all, but they listen every day. He's the best quarterback right now, baby! He is. And he's right the, now! And he's got the best He got cheated, whatever! And he's got the he best He's the best quarterback right now! Let me ask you this. And he's the best quarterback last year, and he's going to be the best quarterback next year. It's so stick that in your pipe! Coach in the NFL. Absolutely. Nice. Get it fired up. I can stir the pot. There are people who the minute they wake up to us, that, that for us in the morning at 6 o'clock, I mean, their alarm clock comes on and it goes to our opening music. You get in your car, you're still listening. You go to work, you're still listening. And so that's the biggest compliment you can get is that people want to hear and, and, and they've been listening to us for 25 years. So. But to our audience, to know that we care that we want to give them as much information, as many stories as possible. For credibility standpoint, we need to be there. Let's talk with uh, Razorback Bob. Robert, good afternoon. And to where you can walk into any city within two hours from here and go, oh, listen to your show. But a lot of people who listen to us, they consider us friends and family, like they know us, and they do. When you're, when you're on the show four hours a day, people hear everything. You know, we've, this is year 20 we've been doing this, yeah. and and uh, and people have stuck with us. Some have not, but most of them did. And we've got new listeners because of Justin and others. And Absolutely. we sometimes forget the, the power we've of... We've lost quite a few because <laughs> of Justin. <laughs> no, no. I never think of this as work. Anyone that's been around for 50 years and the number of athletes, the paths that he's crossed, the lives that he's influenced. And I'm blessed to be able to do it on, the, on a Monday through Friday basis and... Uh, you, know, you can say this is a labor of love. Everybody, thanks for being with us. The zone's up next. Oh, there you go. Okay, well, that clears it up. The buzz certainly has a colorful collection of characters. There's nothing quite like it in the state. Okay, let's get over to Christina Munoz. She wants to introduce you to some very talented kids. Christina? Thanks so much, Steve. Earlier in the season, we reached out to schools all over the state looking for athletes who not only excel on the court, but in the classroom, too. Here's the Arkansas PBS Student All-Stars Class of 2024. We start off with the 1A girls. That is Savannah Pyle with the Emerson High School Pirates. Savannah plans to attend college as a general studies major and explore her options. For 1A boys, we have Kenyon Carter, a junior guard from Mark's Tree. Kenyon wants to be a coach or make it to the league. Next up, we have Abby Methvin representing 2A girls. She plays for the Yellville Summit Panthers. Abby has a 3.8 GPA and wants to go to cosmetology school. For the boys in 2A, we've got Cade Barber with the Cedar Ridge Timberwolves. Cade has a GPA of over 4.0 and wants to be an anesthesiologist. The Lamar High School Warriors Corey Sanders is the 3A Girls Arkansas PBS Student All-Star. Corey wants to be a math teacher and a coach. On the boys' side in 3A, we have Sam Maddox, representing the Central Arkansas Christian Mustangs. Sam wants to pursue college basketball and likes to spend his spare time playing golf. Halfway through and on to the 4A girls, that's Addison Hudspeth of the Heber Springs Lady Panthers. Addison wants to play college basketball and go to physical therapy school. JJ Andrews with the Little Rock Christian Warriors represents the 4A boys. JJ has a 3.72 GPA and wants to play professional basketball. The 5A girls are well represented by Lakin Moore of the Mountain Home Lady Bombers. Lakin wants to attend college and play basketball and describes herself as a gym rat. 
The 5A boys, well, that is Luke Stump with the Russellville Cyclones. Luke wants to be a veterinarian and live in Australia. Rounding out the classifications are your 6A student all-stars. For the girls, that is Delaney Roller with the Harbor Lady Wildcats. Delaney has signed to play basketball at MSSU and will study business. And finally, for the 6A boys, we have Honor Botang representing the Little Rock Central High Tigers. Honor plans to attend the University of Missouri and major in engineering. You know, there's a good chance you'll see some of those same athletes again live right here in this studio when we bring you Quiz Bowl 2024 this April. That is definitely something that you will not want to miss. Well, Steve, it is about that time. Yep, much more coming up in the second half. That's right, right here on the home of the high school basketball state finals, Arkansas PBS. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Over 2,500 team members across 17 local electric distribution co-ops, powering homes, farms, and industries somewhere across Arkansas. We are the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Power and people. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Let me see you, let me see you. Bounce, 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 bounce. Welcome back. Halftime of the 5A Girls State Championship game. Greenwood leading Valonia by 15. Impressive first half from Greenwood. Take a look at some of the stats and you'll see what I'm talking about. Shooting wise, 11 of 14 in the first quarter, 7 of 11 in the second quarter, 18 to 25 in the half. That is 72%. Three pointers after getting off to a 5 for 5 start in the first quarter. Second quarter, they cooled down a little bit, just 1 of 4, but they're still shooting 6 of 9 from the three point line. And that is good enough for a shooting percentage of 66%. They haven't missed a free throw. Very impressive first half for Greenwood shooting the ball. Points off turnovers or turnovers, 10 turnovers for Bologna. That really hurt them in the first half. Greenwood doing a pretty good job of taking care of the ball. A little upset with uh, head coach Clay Reeves, Justin. I talked to him before the game, and he said, you know, one of the good things, we're deep, and uh, we're going to play a lot of players, and uh, we can keep that pace up by playing so many players. He didn't go to his bench in the first half. <laughs> His five starters played every single minute. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Sydney Middleton trying to help her team get back in. That's a beautiful spin move in the lane, and unfortunately for them, didn't get nearly enough of that. And again, a respectable 42% shooting, but too many turnovers and too many points off by Greenwood. Very impressed by the sophomore, Piercy. Thought she was very heady in here, and again, it's a big stage, and she has taken the most of her big opportunity. Wolsey leading the... Lady Bulldogs in scoring with 13 in the first half. Three out of four from long range and five of seven from the floor. That was Sexton's lone bucket of the first half as well. So everybody chipping in, but you've got a couple of players getting the Lions' share of attention offensively. But, you know, three players in double figures, and amazingly, one of them's not trusty. trusty. All that means for you if you're on the other side is you're in big trouble right now. And Bologna's got a lot to improve upon in the second half. And number one, it starts with maximizing possessions and not turning the ball over nearly as much. Now, the good news is they started getting Greenwood to turn it over a little bit, and they narrowed the gap in points off turnovers to 11-3 by the end of the half. Now you look at Trusty's numbers, three of five from the floor. She made her lone one, only three-pointers she attempted. Only one rebound. It felt like she had more rebounds than that. And just two assists, one steal. They need to call him for deflections for Trusty because I bet yeah. she had 10 deflections. Yeah, she's definitely getting her hands on the ball quite a bit today. And she just disrupts everything. It really is difficult to operate. Well, the coaches, both coaches told me, the role players, who steps up? That's probably going to decide this game. Well, you look at Piercy, 5 of 6 from the floor. Izzy Smith, 4 of 5 from the floor. Brooklyn Woolsey, 5 of 7 from the floor. Those three role players, not that they're just they're good players, but right. they're, they're not trusty. Not, not, all eyes aren't on them. They had a great first half. Bologna with the ball as we start the second half action. Open three at the top of the key is no good. Greenwood pulls down the rebound. Woolsey with it. And the looks were really good in the first half for Bologna. At some point, you just need to start knocking down shots. I know that sounds obvious, but sometimes that's what it just comes down to. Can you get good looks? And the answer is yes. Can you make a high enough percentage of shots? And so far, the answer's been no. 3 of 11 from 3 now for Bologna. Coach Simon told me that before the game. We got two good steal there. Middleton with it. Looking to go coast to coast. 
Gives a little hesitation to the basket. She gets it to go. What a nice move from Middleton. Looked like she was going to take a little 12-footer, slowed up, and then just exploded once again in another turnover. Back-to-back -back turnovers for Greenwood. They only had five in the first half. Well, that's two in a row. And quickly, Coach Reeves calls a timeout. He did not like what he saw on those first two possessions. He's refocusing his girls right now. Good look uh, it, at it. it. Listen, when you've, when you've blown a team out in the final the year before, and then you come back here and everything seemed to come pretty easy in the first half, it is easy to lose your focus. And that's exactly what it looks like Greenwood has done. I imagine this will be plenty to get them locked back in. Let's see if he gets their attention and how they uh, play the rest of this quarter. Exactly what Bologna needed. If they were going to get back into this ball game. They need a little bit of a run. Is this the start of the run for Bologna? Middleton's going to throw it in right in front of us. Got to get somebody. There we go. Mannion turns around, hits the three. Mannion finally breaks through. Quick 5-0 run for Bologna. And she missed her first five, and maybe that will be the break in the dam that can cause the flood they need offensively. Three is no good, but Bologna can't get the rebound. Piercy, top, no good. This time, Lady Eagles get it. Here they come. Let's see if they can add to their run. Inside, underneath the basket, no good. Gets her own rebound. Burnham gets fouled. She'll go to the free throw line. Unselfish play there. Could have taken a shot from about 15 feet, but they look inside. Get another timeout from Coach Reeves. Wow, he did not get focused enough, apparently. He's going to try this again. Now, let me repeat myself, maybe he's saying. I don't know if you heard the message a moment ago, but yeah, give Bologna a lot of credit. They have come out like their hair's on fire defensively, and also it helps when you start making shots. That was a huge shot, not just for the game, but for Mannion. To see the ball yep. go through the net after missing so many threes, five straight she missed. Call the paper. Greenwood's under 70% shooting for the first time in a long time as well. Down to 67%. Still remarkably high, but certainly gaining on it for Bologna. You got to chip away. This is the way to do it. And, it, you know, as much as it feels like Greenwood got everything they wanted in the first half, it's potentially going to be a single-digit lead in a moment. Brianna Burnham, one of the twins, knocks down the free throw line, or knocks down the free throw to get it to single digits. 6-0 run. Second free throw. Rims out. Trusty with the rebound. Bologna with a little pressure in the half court. Bologna gets it into the corner. Back out. Thought about the three. Now they'll take a little 15-footer. No good off the back of the rim. Good, strong rebound for Bologna. Sexton couldn't knock it down for Greenwood. Bologna running. Middleton. Gives it up inside. Tough shot, but Middleton almost brings in the rebound. Fights for it. She steps out of bounds. You're seeing a lot of effort from Middleton right now. Yeah, they're playing like their season depends on it, which it does. The lead's down to nine. So Bologna chipping away here. Trusty gets it to Piercy across half court. Piercy drives in the middle of the lane. No one picks her up. No one stops her. She goes all the way to the basket. Can't have that. Just a breakdown in the defense. Piercy, not your average sophomore. Very aggressive. Inside, good look. Layup, missed. Knocked out of bounds by Bologna. Greenwood's ball. Burnham just could not convert. Couldn't finish off the great pass from Middleton. Trusty looking to get it across half court. She does. Trusty will give it up. Bologna playing a little bit of a zone now. Get it to Trusty. Left wing corner. Good. Not, not any good. Good rebound, though, from Bologna. Yeah, I like what Burnham's doing. She's had a couple of good defensive rebounds in traffic. Burnham to Burnham. A block. And to the free throw line. Emphatic call on the block there. No question about it. 
according to the officials. And so to the free throw line, we will go. I thought he got it right, but when he got so uh, dramatic with the call, I thought he was going to call a charge. He was sliding for sure. Yeah. And so there's no question, I don't think that's a great call. Would have been yeah. easy to go the other way, but Wolsey definitely moving into that one. So a great call by the official. It's hard at full speed. I can sit, sit and watch and, you know, slow-mo West, it's pretty easy, but you got to take advantage. Again, we talked about it. First half free throws. I'm not saying you need to shoot 100%, but, you know, you could, you'd love to have a few more of those. Six of 11 now on the day. Well, when you're trailing, every point is crucial. You've got to convert the free throws, the layups. We've seen a couple of missed layups right underneath the basket. You don't have to be perfect, but you got to be close to perfect when you're trying to make up a double-digit deficit against a team like Greenwood. Yeah, when you're trying but to beat a two-time champion, a missed opportunity there. Bologna almost forcing the turnover in the backcourt. But Simon thought it was their ball. The Bologna fans right there thought it was their ball, too, of course. But Greenwood keeps possession. Smith gives it up. She gets it right back. Smith faked the three. She'll get it to Piercy. Piercy drives in again. It's like the seas just depart for her. She knows what to do with it. Take it to the hole. She's seven of nine, Wes. 16 points now for the sophomore. Middleton across court. Gets it right back. Middleton fouled on the shot. She'll go to the free throw line. Piercy fouled her. That's a third foul on Piercy. Something to keep an eye on. She draws another quick foul. That, well, we talked about the foul trouble in the semis. One of the few issues for Greenwood. And if that becomes a storyline here, it will certainly help Bologna's cause. 17 now, by the way, for Middleton, who has risen to the occasion here in this game. Let's make 18. it 18. Yep. Back to a 10-point game. Bologna trying to make a little second half run. Piercy gives it up. Corner three. Little strong. Rebound. High. Knocked around. Middleton got knocked off of it. And she's going to be called for the foul. Just some bad luck for Middleton. Looked like she was going to get the loose ball, but she was hit, knocked off of the ball, and it bounced straight to Trusty. Trusty attacked the basket, and Middleton, Middleton was out of position, and she gets called for the foul. Watch this. Looks like she's, Middleton's got it, gets yep. hit, and then she's just in the way of Trusty. Wrong place, wrong time, and Trusty converts on the three-point play. Didn't need that. Lead push back to 13. Middleton will bring it across half court. Trusty on her. Drive to the basket. Throws it up. Right hand shot. No good. There's a lot of bodies under there for Burnham. And she could not convert. Hand on the ball. Deflected. But it goes straight to Greenwood. Bologna playing the zone. Corner three. Good. Greenwood heating up again. Woolsey. Continues to put the ball in the basket. Timeout for Bologna. We'll take a timeout with them. Greenwood pushes their lead to 16 just like that. You're watching the Centennial Bank State Basketball Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports. What does it mean to be great? It's the rhythm of the heart. The spirit refusing to surrender. It isn't born from a moment of glory. It's woven in the fabric of progress. For the journey is where champions are born. To be courageous is to dance with the storm of adversity. The fact that I have UAMS health by my side, it's just a blessing. And without UAMS health, I wouldn't be the player that I am today. Civics education empowers us to be well-informed, active citizens and gives us the opportunity to change the world. Our educators have created tools for parents and teachers to help guide and engage children through the civics process during this election year. Discover ways to talk with your child about being a good citizen and how you can explore elections together with resources available at myarkansaspbs.org slash civics. It's now a session. For a copy of any of the state championship games, go to mmproductions.net to place your order. Memories being made, Wes, and 
A lot of folks want to hold on to those forever and ever. Be able to look back on these. And for Greenwood, plenty of memories being made right now as they've built that lead to 16 points again with under four minutes to go here in the third period. I was just thinking this was just a 10-point game. Yes. What happened? It was a nine-point game not long ago. Greenwood won on a 6-0 run in the last 35 seconds. And they hit a hit the three right there to cap off that 6-0 run. Of course, Trusty had the basket and the foul. She converted the free throw line at the free throw line, and that was the beginning of the run. Just like that, it's a 16-point game. Bologna needing some points. Trusty with the handle of the ball, and she gets the steal. Piercy with it all the way to the basket, gives it up to Trusty, but throws it out of bounds. One of the few mistakes from Piercy today. I thought she was going to take it all the way. But not a bad idea to pass it to Trusty either. No. That's almost always a good, a good call there for sure. When you've got a six-footer running the break with you, yeah, give it up to her. Greenwood a little bit more aggressive on defense, making it tough for Bologna to get an open look. Middleton drives in, 15-footer, jumper, floater, good. That was a nice shot. Yeah, Middleton down with 20 points in the game, 6 of 11. She's missed three free throws, but she's gotten there 10 times. Trusty throws it inside. They'll back it back out. Sexton over to Smith. Piercy being hounded out top. Greenwood being patient. Yeah. 10 seconds. Woolsey drives. Hand off the glass. So you run her off the three-point line where she's made four or five, and she makes you pay inside with the drive inside for the kiss off the glass. Try to work it into Hunter, but it's a turnover. Here comes Trusty, one-on-one. Middleton with her. Trusty's floater no good. Yeah, I thought Trusty pulled up that shot a little too early, and then they catch a break. Ball goes out off of Bologna. So, again, Lady Eagles struggling right now. Missed opportunity there, but I thought Trusty pulled her dribble up a little bit early on as opposed to taking it all the way into the basket. Doesn't matter, though. They'll get another opportunity here. There's Woolsey right there converting on the last possession. She's got it again. She gives it up to Trusty for three. No good. Rebound goes to Woolsey. Greenwood gets another shot. Pass on the corner three. Trusty to Sexton. Sexton will give it up. Smith thought about it. She drives in, puts it high off the glass. No good. Deloney gets the rebound this time. Heston all the way down the court. Double team goes out of bounds off of Greenwood. Heston will stay right there and throw it in. Need some points here, down 16. Middleton falls behind her. She somehow catches it, drives in. Nice pass to Henry. Henry can't bring it in, finally gets it, goes up with it, knocked out of her hands. The Valonia fans behind us wanted a foul. No foul called, so Greenwood throws it in. They're up 16 here in the third quarter. Time running out on Valonia. They need a run to make things interesting. Greenwood can be patient. Work it in, back out. Piercy spinning, kicks it back out. Bologna knocks it out of bounds. Greenwood will have 11 seconds when they throw it in on the play clock. Middleton giving instructions for her teammates. He's looking for a turnover for a steal. Piercy driving. It's cut off, but there's a little bump in the foul. Just the second team foul on Bologna here in the third quarter. They'll reset the shot clock. Greenwood's fine with that. They're in no hurry right now. Bologna jumps out of the uh, zone. They go man to man, but that opens up a shot for Greenwood's Woolsey, and Woolsey yeah. does it again. That was counterintuitive, wasn't it? You go out of the zone and try to get back to man-to-man, -to -man and they still get a wide-open shooter off of a screen. There's another kick ball by Trusty. I don't know if she's got any soccer in her background, but she has had a few of those, just active and doing everything she can. Again, to be disruptive, it's got to make Bologna very uncomfortable. The lead is 19, and I believe this is the largest lead of the day so far. Trusty out there at the head of the zone. Makes it tough. They try to throw it in bounds. May have been an ill-advised pass, but 
Maloney got a foul call. Fourth team foul on Greenwood. One more and they'll go to the free throw line, but only 50, 46 seconds left in the quarter. Well, it's just been another dominant performance by a, a Greenwood team trying to three-peat. Manion finally gets it into Middleton. Middleton immediately drives and kicks. Maloney having a hard time finding a good look. Just trying to get out of the double team right now. Look at the defense. Finally an opening left-handed layup, and it's good. It took him a while, but finally got something. Heston drives to the basket and finishes. Heston, the senior, you see it here, splitting the defenders off the glass. A touch foul by Greenwood. And an opportunity to get it back to 16. A lot of ground to make up with only one quarter to play, but you've got to start somewhere, and that was a nice play by Heston. You saw Greenwood fail to hold for one effectively in the last quarter. See how they do on this one. Or if they just attack like they did at the end of the first quarter. Coach is telling them to take it out. They're going to hold. 12 seconds left in the third quarter. Doing a good job of keeping the ball out of Trusty's hands, but Wolsey gets it. This time she misses. Rebound, Piercy. Piercy at the buzzer. And it bounces in. Wow. Shooter's touch rolls in as the shot clock expires. 61-43, Greenwood in control of the 5A Girls Championship. You're watching the Centennial Bank State Basketball Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first, by empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charities, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Attention sports enthusiasts, get ready to be amazed by Summerwood Sports Complex, the new state-of-the-art facility in Bryan. Our facility offers up to four courts spread across two spacious gyms, conveniently located off Interstate 30 in Bryan. Whether you're a team seeking tournament glory or an individual looking to elevate your skills, Summerwood Sports has got you covered. Discover more about our cutting-edge facility and check availability at summerwoodsports.com. It's now a session. to go in the 5A Girls State Championship game and Greenwood is in full control. Trusty hitting the three there. Big game for her but it's been Woolsey and Piercy coming up huge for Greenwood. Woolsey with 21 points. Piercy with 18 points. They've combined for 39 points. 39 of Greenwood's 61 points coming from those two and they've almost outscored Bologna on their own. Bologna with 43 points. Westmore, Justin Acre with you for the last quarter of this 5A Girls Championship game. No real serious foul trouble so far. Smith with three, Piercy with three. And they've been a couple of key offensive cogs, but we've only got one quarter to go. So not a real significant issue there. Trusty across court to Woolsey. The ball gets in her hands. You just feel like she's in control. Good pass inside to Piercy. She gives it up. Layup no good. Well, Sexton missing a point blank range right though. That was great ball movement by Greenwood. The margins 18, largest lead for Greenwood 19. And last year's margin of victory, again going back to that, was 23. So they're hanging around there. And there's a near steal by Piercy. Good hustle as she goes into the scores table. That's a sophomore who's got a great future ahead of her. She is just great anticipation, great feel for the game. I'm going to see the ball in Middleton's hands a little bit more. Yeah. She never touched before the ball was knocked out of bounds. Yes. Yeah, unselfish maybe to a fault. Well, 11 shots, and she's really the only one that's scoring at any kind of clip. It'd be nice to see her get a few more shots up. Well, Left-handed runner is good. That's yeah. the second time we've yeah. seen that from Lexi Heston in yeah. the last couple of possessions. She's starting to catch a little heat. She has 13 now. I can hear the Bologna fans behind us. They're telling them to go. they got to hurry on offense. They're down. they got to score. They got to get that trusty in the 
Oh, Greenwood boy. Bulldogs to miss. They did, but Trusty gets the rebound. Yeah, went right over the back of Middleton. No whistle there. A little deflection. Middleton with it. She gets knocked to the floor. Piercy, a little incidental contact, but that'll be the fourth foul on Piercy. Yeah, she went from not really in foul trouble to foul trouble, just like that. Let's see, uh, we're going to have a timeout. Let's see, I think Greenwood, yep, Greenwood called the timeout, so we're going to discuss this. I, I wonder what he does here with four fouls on Piercy with six minutes and 40 seconds. If he takes her out, makes his first substitution of the game. Talked about Middleton. She's been hot today. Six of 11 is all she's taken. The 11 shots, 20 points. She's got seven points at the free throw line, and you mentioned it. You know, maybe you'd like to see her get a few more opportunities. The junior's having herself a day. Averages a little over 15 a game. She gets far from past that. And maybe needs to be a little more selfish offensively and take a little more for herself. But uh, she is getting a little help here lately from Heston. She's played well. Had a couple of big buckets of late. I need a lot more of that here down the stretch. Middleton has two assists, and I guarantee you there's been about three or four other passes that she's made that her teammates just missed a, a layup or an open shot. I just feel like she is one of their best players with the ball in her hand to not even score for herself, but to open things up for her teammates. She, she's just a playmaker. I want to see her take control of the game here offensively. No question. But you know what? They're going to have to do it on the defensive end with only six minutes to go. And you got to make up 16 points. You got to get some steals. You got to get some turnovers. You got to get easy baskets to go on a little bit of a run. Yeah, you know, we were talking off air, Wes. This is a really good Bologna team trying to win a state title. They've also got a very young core. Only one senior playing significant minutes at Heston, who's playing well here of late. And she gets another one right on cue. But uh, there's a lot coming back for this team. They are potentially uh, going to be right back in the mix for this next year. Three baskets in a row for Hetz. Trusty drives baseline, but kicks it back out. Greenwood looks like they're just being a little bit more patient. I thought Trusty could have taken a shot right there, but I think she understands the situation and takes some time off the clock and be patient. There's a nice hands there with Middleton tipping it away. Yeah, I mean, it, it becomes a numbers game at some point. 35 seconds is an eternity on a shot clock. And if you can have a few scoring possessions and a whole lot of quality shot clock running possessions, you can really shorten this game down and make things a whole lot easier for yourself if you're Greenwood. Hand on the ball, but they knocked it out of bounds, and Greenwood keeps it. Four seconds on the play clock. They're going to have to get the, get the shot up pretty quick. Trusty's right there down low. She catches it, shoots it off the front of the rim. Poloni with the rebound. Got to convert here. Got to keep scoring points. Trusty creating problems out front like she has all day long. Drive to the basket, another hand on the ball. Piercy comes away with it. Trusty all the way to the basket, throws it up left-handed, won't fall, but she'll go to the free throw line. Foul on Middleton. It's another one of those turnovers driving into the lane. Greenwood just gets a hand on it, knocks it away, throw it up to Trusty. Yeah, how about this? Turnovers 14 for Valonia, 9 for Greenwood, but they have right of the ship. They now have 12 points off turnovers. Valonia does only 11 for Greenwood. Wow, and earlier it was 9, 11, nine zip. Yep. Trusty makes the first free throw. Lee grows to 15. 20, yeah, I'm going to say 20 points for Middleton and 21 for Woolsey. Trusty having a really quiet day offensively in the big scheme of things, but I think safe to say she's been as good or better than just about anybody on the floor as far as her impact. Middleton looking inside, has a teammate there, and gets stripped away. That's a young player there, Burnham. Maybe don't put that one on the floor. Catch, goes straight up with it, and as she becomes a little further along in her high school career, as a play I'm sure she'll make. Just so common and so it's almost like a need to put the ball on the floor when you catch it, even right underneath the basket. Great athlete. Brianna has a school record in the 100 and 200 meters. Any idea? No. F faster faster, than, than, faster us. than us? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. It's a long way to be running. Yes. As fast as you can. Uh, Did they day. get the charge? No, a block. Oh, boy, that's a tough call. Pretty good effort there by Sexton. She's or not by Sexton, excuse me, by Heston. She's, uh, she's done a good job today. Really come on offensively here late. But that was worth the gamble, I think, there. Bang, bang play. Yep. And with it right in front of the Valonia bench, I thought they might get the call. They all stood up ready for the charge. Got the block. 
Just the second team foul on Bologna this quarter. They're trying to ratchet up the defense. They know they got to get some steals, some turnovers right here. Double team on Piercy. She gets rid of it. Work at the trussy little runner. No good. Too strong. Piercy with it. Throws it out off the Bologna defender, and it goes out of bounds. Just another heads up play yeah. from this sophomore. Yeah, she's got such a great feel for the game. Very impressive. Look at the rebounds. Pretty even on rebounds. Trusty fake. She drives in, draws the contact. She'll go to the free throw line. Feels like that's there anytime she wants it. But she's crowded so much. She handles it so well. Those long strides gets past the defender and draws the foul. She makes the game of basketball look easy. Her and Piercy both. You can tell they have played a lot of basketball at this young yeah. age. Yeah, a lot of basketball, and it appears they've played a lot of basketball together as well. I mean, again, the way that that cohesion works is Trusty misses the free throw. Cohesion of the zone especially is so impressive, Wes. And a lot of times, you know, you're thinking, I'm taking a break. We play zone. It's a very active zone, causes a lot of issues. You can see why Greenwood's been so successful with it. Cross court, another tip ball. That was right in front of us. I couldn't tell who it was off of. Both hands were reaching for it at the same time. But yeah, we had the best angle and couldn't tell, so maybe we should give the officials a break when there's a close call going forward. I'll always give officials a break. Mannion <laughs> gets it in. Burn them. See what Middleton can do. Mannion. Oh, she thought about the three. Works it inside just too high. Yeah, Mannion's not really even looking for her shot right now. She's had a tough day, one of six from three. And she was not really even looking for it there. We're going to get a timeout. 4.32 left, so still not to the media timeout here in the fourth quarter, but a 16-point margin. And, I mean, you're getting into desperation mode for Bologna. That's one of those threes I'd have been okay with her taking. When you're down 16, oh, yeah. you, you got to start, and you got to you got to get some shots up and because they don't even get a shot up. They end up throwing it away. If you shoot it, at least... You know what, maybe you get a chance for an offensive rebound if it doesn't go in, but she's a good enough shooter. She may make that. They've got nine offensive rebounds today. I mean, and, and most of those have come off of long-range jump shots, as you would expect. And so, you know, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, there's nothing but upside there. If you've got an open look and you're a shooter, you got to let it go. Let's take a look at Woolsey. She's been one of the uh, unsung heroes this season, and she stepped up big time today. Woolsey. Five of eight from the three-point line. She now has 21 points. Yeah, averages 12 and a half a game, and the senior going out the right way here with a big-time performance. And you saw a little bit from Middleton there, too. Really, uh, both number fives have had big games today. You know, it's funny. During the state championship run for Greenwood, I had a lot of highlights sent to me at Fox 16, and Woolsey was in a lot of those highlights. And I kept thinking, well, where's Trusty? You know, I know she's their player, and uh, Trusty's been dominant in two state championship games, but there were so many times I got highlights, and Woolsey was featured in those highlights. So she's had a good state tournament. Boy, it's, it's becoming a factory at Greenwood, isn't it? I mean, last year, the MVP, Maddie Cartwright, she leaves, goes to Tulsa, by the way, having a solid freshman campaign, averaging seven a game. And they just pick up where they left off. And there's a nice near steal almost by Heston. Got a hold of it and then stepped out of bounds on the end line. What do they call a foul? They call it a charge before okay. the pass. Gotcha. Or maybe after the pass was completed, ran into the Bologna defender. Piercy just uh, kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Play on. What was that? I don't criticize officials, I believe is what yeah. you're saying. I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Just kind of grunted uh, a little bit. That's the fifth on oh, Piercy. Sure is. Yep, she's done. That's a tough one to go out on. But she did her damage while she was in there. 18 for the sophomore. 8 of 10 shooting day in a state championship and four rebounds. I'm sure she wanted to be on the floor at the end of this one. Although if this continues, there's going to be probably a whole lot of players coming off the bench at the end of this one. Well, she'll be on the floor celebrating here that's in a right. few minutes. Another miss inside that time by Middleton and clearing it away. There goes Smith the other way. She the link quick. The link once again on the block shot. Yep. Looked like Middleton had a good look, but just had the shot blocked inside the paint. Greenwood running that weave until decides to just take the shot, gets bumped on the on the shot attempt, and Trusty will go to the line to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. Yeah, you said it. She just makes it look so easy. That's our media timeout. We're under four minutes left in this 5A Girls State Championship game. Trusty. Trust in her. 
delivering for Greenwood. You're watching the Centennial Bank State Basketball Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports. For every moment, for every memory, from that first car to your first home, to your first child, and all the highs and lows that tomorrow might bring. For everything that matters most to you and your family, there's someone right around the corner dedicated to helping you protect what you love. Your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent. Farm Bureau Insurance. Real service. Real people. Looks like we have some new help in the marketing department. Action! Hi, I'm Susie. I wrote with Everview DMC. I think you need to work on your line better. How about you do it? Family owned, customer friendly. Family owned, no friendly. Come see, see us at Everview DMC. I-30 at Alcoa Exit. Congratulate our Arkansas PBS student all-star. It is Lakin Moore from Mountain Home. Junior guard with a 4.2 GPA. Plans to head to college on a basketball scholarship. And want to congratulate the Lady Bomber, Lakin Moore. Here at Bank OZK Arena, Greenwood trying to finish off Bologna and win back-to-back -back state championships, 65-47. Anna Trusty's headed back to the free throw line. She's three of five from the free throw line today. 14 points, looking for a 15. She knocks it down. Very efficient day from Anna Trusty. Look at Piercy, who just fouled out. She had a great game. Sophomore came up big for Greenwood. Colonia works it down in the corner to Minion. And he gives it back up. Trusty creating all kinds of havoc out there, making it tough at the top of the key. Big looping pass to get it over Trusty. Dribble inbound and dribble inside. You can see Bologna wants to shoot, but they just can't get a good look. Finally, Minion from deep off the front of the rim. It looked good from here. I thought she made it. Greenwood breaks the press easily. Trusty to the basket. She converts. Trusty up to 17 points. Middleton all the way to the basket, puts it up and in. 22 now for Super Sid, having a big game. But again, just didn't get enough help in this one. Heston's come on and has 15 now, but those are the only two players in double figures. Three for Greenwood. Smith with 10 and Woolsey with 21. Trusty with 17. Four, actually, because we got Piercy's on the bench with 18. So, yeah, a whole lot of folks getting in the mix. Trusty's going to get a chance to get up there close to her average. She's going to the free throw line to shoot two. Fifth team foul on Bologna. She's got 17, came into the game averaging 19, so she could do it right here. They've already scored 10, making 11 points more than they did in the state final last year at Greenwood, we're talking about. And Bologna has stepped up their offensive performance as well by about 15, but. Unfortunately for the Lady Eagles, Greenwood has stepped up more. Miss, rebound, miss, stick back, and no again, but Sexton crashing, and she gets it to go. Sexton's second basket of the ball game. I mean, everything going right for Greenwood right now. Uh, that, that summed it up right there. Missed free throw, and they get three more attempts on the missed free throw. Nice pass inside, strong to the basket, but failed to convert. Heston, though, has uh, had a big fourth quarter. She's delivered several occasions for them. She'll go to the free throw line for Bologna. Now, these two teams play back in November, and Bologna won that game 68 to 63. I talked to Coach Simon before the game and said, how much film did you watch of that? How much did you go back on that? And he said, look, we went back. I, I let them see that just to give them some confidence to realize, hey, you beat them earlier this year. You can do it again. But he was the first to admit that Anna Trusty wasn't herself in that game. Anna Trusty played, but he said there was something wrong with her. I don't know if it was an injury, an illness, or what, but you could tell she wasn't 100%, and what she wasn't in game shape yet. They've seen the game shape Anna Trusty today, and she's made a big difference, along with Woolsey and Piercy. Just over two minutes left in this one. 
Greenwood about to claim its third straight state title. Charlie's one of those I want to keep up in college. I think she, ooh, I think she's going to have a great career. Works it inside. Just broke some ankles there. Trusty feeding in. That's the again third bucket now for Sexton. She's got six and another assist for Trusty. Her third of the game. Middleton kicks it outside. Three, no good from the baseline from Heston. Greenwood came comes away with the rebound. Here comes Trusty. I pulled out the Lonya defender aside and say I wouldn't worry about it. She's going to break a lot of ankles before she's done. Don't feel bad. They'll be on a long list. And now Greenwood going to the bench, going to get some subs in here, Wes, as we get down to that final moments of the championship ball game with a minute and a half to play and giving some folks a taste of that state championship time on the floor. How would you like to have a six foot ball handler in a situation like this that great handles. She can throw it over the top of anybody. Yeah. Has her head up looking for teammates and just so calm with the ball. <laughs> she about, can handle the pressure. How about one that can play the entire game too. I mean you barely get a breather at all. Is she going to get a breather here? Are they going to completely I, I take gotta, out the starter? Well, I got to think you would. Maybe take them out one by one, let them have their moment. And the good thing for her is, you know, she's been there three in a row. I mean, you're a senior. You, you got to take them out that way, I think. So Bologna youngsters getting in the game now. And, and there's the sub. And there goes Trusty to the bench with Sexton. And sending uh, Woolsey over there as well with the bench. And get some hugs over there. It's always emotional moments. And man. Kind of gets in your feels a little bit there. Yep. Great game from Greenwood today. Baloney brings it across. Corner three. They'll take it to Middleton. Middleton looking to drive. She does. All the way to the basket. And she converts. Good way for her to finish her uh, junior year. Baloney is going to be back. And strong with Middleton coming back for her senior year next year. She's got 22 points. Mackenzie Thomas, Pate Jones in the game now for Greenwood. Jenna Honkala. 45 seconds left. Going to send another sub to the table. Journey Clements. Going to get a moment on the floor, maybe. Got a shot clock winding down. Baseline jumper. Yes. <laughs> Look at the go. smile. Oh, Mackenzie Thomas can't believe it. That's a great way <laughs> to finish it off. It's good to see one of the folks deep on the bench get a bucket. Saxon to Henry, no good. Saxon with the rebound, puts it up, no good. And that should do it. Greenwood has 15 seconds to dribble out. Start the celebration in Greenwood because they're going to go back to back to back. They had won three out of four, make it four out of five. Your Greenwood Bulldogs are the 5A girls state champions winning 77 to 51. An impressive shooting performance, defense, offense. They did a little bit of everything today. Greenwood, your champs. We're going to hear from the winning head coach here in just a few minutes, Clay Reeves. He gets his 11th state championship, his eighth title at Greenwood, and the state tournament MVP. Stick around. You're watching the Centennial Bank State Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Over 2,500 team members across 17 local electric distribution co-ops, powering homes, farms, and industries somewhere across Arkansas. We are the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Power and people. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first by empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charities, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. For every moment, for every memory, from that first car, to your first home, to your first child, and all the highs and lows that tomorrow might bring. For everything that matters most to you and your family, there's someone right around the corner dedicated to helping you protect what you love. Your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent. Farm Bureau Insurance. Real service, real people. 
You wouldn't drink it, so why breathe it? Vaping liquids contain chemical oils that can severely damage your lungs. Don't get lost in the fog. Learn more about the hazards of vaping at projectpreventar.org. Looks like we have some new help in the marketing department. Action! Hi, I'm Susie Everett with Everett View DMC. I think you need to work on your line better. How about you do it? Family owned, customer friendly. Family owned, no friendly. Come see, see us at Everett View DMC. I 30 at Alcoa Exit. Attention sports enthusiasts, get ready to be amazed by Summerwood Sports Complex, the new state-of-the-art facility in Bryan. Our facility offers up to four courts spread across two spacious gyms, conveniently located off Interstate 30 in Bryan. Whether you're a team seeking tournament glory or an individual looking to elevate your skills, Summerwood Sports has got you covered. Discover more about our cutting-edge facility and check availability at summerwoodsports.com. What does it mean to be great? It's the rhythm of the heart. The spirit refusing to surrender. It isn't born from a moment of glory. It's woven in the fabric of progress. For the journey is where champions are born. To be courageous is to dance with the storm of adversity. The fact that I have UAMS Health by my side, it's just a blessing. And without UAMS Health, I wouldn't be the player that I am today. We are launching our 2024 new member challenge, and our goal is to gain 2,500 new members before June 30th. If we reach our goal, Arkansas PBS Foundation will receive a $45,000 challenge fund. Provide The celebration continues for the Greenwood Bulldogs. They are your 5A girls state champions. Joining us now, Clay Reeves, the head coach. Congratulations, coach. Thank you. How's it feel now that the game is over and your girls have done it again? I, I feel great. Uh, you know, I believe in these in these young ladies. They played great all year. They've done what they've done. And, and I just told them just come out and play like we always do. And I mean, that's how much confidence I have in them and the things that they can do. Uh, and they came out and played just like we play most every night. Coach, defensively, I'm just so impressed by what you all do with your zone and the ability to kind of smash things in there when they try to go inside. I mean, plus you have everything covered on the perimeter. It's a remarkable defense and it's worked obviously very well for you this year. It has, and I've got smart kids. I mean, uh, they figure out stuff really quick. They understand who we need to be guarding, where we need to be guarding, and you know they they we play Bologna every year. Last year, this year at the first of the year, and playing them first game of the year kind of showed us some things we need to improve on. Not with me just telling them, but they could see the film and know we need to cover some things better. And I'm just blessed to have a very great group of kids, very smart, just great people. We're going to talk to Trusty here in just a second. She was awesome, but. Woolsey, Piercy, what they delivered today, and you, you said before the game to me, you know, our other players have got to step up. Boy, did they step up. They did, and, and, and the same thing for Valonia. I mean, you have to have a total team, and like I told them before the game, somebody on our team and their team is going to be the leading scorers about what everybody else does, and all of our other players stepped up great at different times. Uh, this is a great offensive team, and different players step up at different times. Coach, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Coach, thanks. Thank Appreciate you. it. Let's All take right. a look at some of the stats from uh, this game. It's a very impressive shooting game for Greenwood. As they get it done from the field, shooting 57%, rounded up to 58%. Three-pointers, 8 of 17. That's almost 50%. Just a great shooting night. Afternoon. It's early still. First day, first game of the day. 77-51 your final score. We are joined now by the MVP of this state championship game, Anna Trusty. Congratulations. Thank you. I was so impressed with you at the head of that zone. Okay. Six foot tall, long arms. I don't know how many balls you did. Does the bench keep up with the deflections for you because they should? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Tim Terry probably does for me, though, but um, I'm not sure. I just took, I try to do my best to like, keep my arms up. You know, so I have to go way over me, but I don't know. 
And we've had a number of rematches here in the finals. I'm just curious, when you've dominated a team like you did in the finals last year, this Bologna team, obviously things are a little bit different from a personnel standpoint. And then, you know, you know them well, and you dominated the first half. How hard was it to come out in the second half? Coach had to call a couple timeouts, maybe get you refocused. Yes. Is it hard to kind of stay in that zone when you're making it look so easy? Yeah, I mean, we knew we had to come out and be ready the second half. Like, obviously we were up, but we knew that keep fighting. So he kind of had to motivate us a few times, but um, we kept it up, so. I'm curious what's next for you. What, what are you, you going to do for college? I don't know yet. If I knew, I would I would tell you all, but I don't. I'm still weighing my options, but I'll figure it out soon. Who's offered you? Um, Long Beach State, uh, UTRGV, Boston University. I have, like, um, quite a few, like, D2 schools. I've been talking to some other schools, but we'll see what happens. So. Well, that's California cool. sounds nice. Yeah, yeah I mean. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be successful wherever you end up. Great Thank performance you. today. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank yeah. you so much. All right, Anna Trusty joining us, celebrating another state championship. And she's got that MVP trophy, a third great performance for Anna Trusty in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back years. Taking a look at some of the highlights, and there's Wolsey. She was so impressive. Middleton had a great game. She finished in 31 minutes with 24 points, played in almost the entire game, got a little bit of a break during, right before the end of one of the quarters. But Greenwood, Piercy attacking the basket. There's Trusty with the three. Corner three from Wolsey as they kept knocking down shot after shot after shot. That was the story of the game. They shot the ball really well, and then on defense, they held Bologna to 51 points. It's a fun one, partner. Impressive. Greenwood, I'm very comfortable using the dynasty word when we're talking about the Bulldogs. So four out of five years, three in a row. Yeah, that's a dynasty. And a pretty scary bunch coming back next year, too. And how about their head coach getting his eighth title at Greenwood, 10th title overall, 11th title overall, I should say. Stick we are around, just getting yeah. started, man. This is going to be a great day. Coming up next, the 5A boys. They're on the court warming up. It's Benton and Pine Bluff. Another rematch. Three times. This, this will be the third time. They say it's hard to beat them three times. Benton's done it twice. Pine Bluff looking for revenge with Courtney Crutchfield and company. Stick around. More coverage coming. You're watching the Centennial Bank State Basketball Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports. Do I sit here? Okay. <clears throat> oh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> okay, whenever I'm ready. Okay. Everyone thinks mascotting is fun, like being a celebrity, but I'm here to tell you it's mask not. I'm still working on that one. This line of work's only for the bold. The audacious. I got that in spades. There's only one problem. Nobody in Arkansas wants a giraffe for a mascot. 37 interviews and nothing. Nada. Bupkiss. Everyone's always like, mm, a giraffe is too weird for Arkansas. And I'm like, have you seen some of the mascots out there? Arkansas is chock full of bears and eagles and bulldogs. In fact, there are 300 and 